DJ Sus One, the feature presentation of Tip Hop Nation. My co-host is here. Yeah. Yo, what's going on? It's Ali V. Yeah, and we got my guy in the building. Now, let me you know it. Let me introduce him properly, you all right? You know it. Nigga got hit after hit out here in these streets. Pattern records. His chains is more disrespectful than the price tag on your fucking Too house. Too much money. All right? He brought dark-skinned niggas back in a climate where Drake is winning. Way better than Tyrese. All right? <laughs> What? He almost got more swag than me. OT Genesis in yes. the building. So OT stop. Genesis. Yeah, stop. I'm here. 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 <laughs> OT, what up, boy? What's going on? It's your first time on the big show. <laughs> my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. My nigga, thank you for bringing the Don Julio. Oh, Ron yeah. Stu, I see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm bringing it through, man. We chilling. We having a good time. We in New York. We having a, you know what I mean? Um... It's real. It's not, the weather feel good today. Yeah, it's all right. The whole, the whole country's tuning in right now. The West, everybody. Now, mm-hmm. he got an- another fucking record out here winning. Right. Everybody yeah. mad. Yeah. Now, I felt that record because I can relate usually. <laughs> yeah. But after seeing your jewelry in the fucking studio, I know motherfuckers, is, you, it should change it to everybody's really fucking mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you do the yeah. remix? Everybody's really fucking mad. Yeah, yeah. That's not, that's what I wish y'all could see what he's wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I don't wear no cloudy jewelry, jewelry, no fake jewelry, no none of that. Make sure that your jewelry is high quality. I'm not buying um, the jewelry that other people buy just to make sure that they have that chain. I'm making sure that my shit is high quality and I'm spending real money on it. And if you don't have the money for it, you should probably save, which is okay and which is o- which is fine. But at the end of the Little day, bitch. I work for mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk to me, bro. What's going on? He's a lot, Yo, since I met you, man. Well, which, by the way, he reminded me that I'm the first DJ to play his first single. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first song, the first DJ, York, I mean. first DJ to play my song in New York, period. I went club to club with him. Um... All kind of shit, man. We turned up to the max, man. Me and Sus been going like, you know, for a long fucking time, man. And anytime anybody asked me, like, yo, blah, blah, blah. Like, they was asking me earlier. It's like, yo, we got to go serious, man. Like, okay, cool. What we got to do? You know, yo, okay, da, 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 da. I remember when Busta Nigga's first like, gave me a record, bro. Yeah. Niggas like, <laughs> Sus won. I'm like, fuck. You know I got to go there. You, I know <laughs> I got to go there. Like, I know I got to go there. <laughs> it's my bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and he just, he's been holding me down, man. And, and he doesn't just play my songs in the club. He make movies. It's yes, different. It it's different. Because a, a lot of DJs want to have that, um, they want to say that they broke records. That's the whole thing. Everybody want to say, we broke records. We Like, to break a record, not, not just do you play a record, but you actually have to break a record. Exactly. And a lot of DJs are scared. That's why they sit in there because they don't know and they don't know music. Mm-hmm. So they don't know music. So they sit in there and it's like, okay, we play it. It's like, okay, it's over now. Okay, go to the next song. But this guy right there, he took his chance with me. He was like, yo, it's OG Genesis, da, 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 New York City. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know how much it takes to do that? Mm-hmm. You know, and you have to have the confidence in yourself and the confidence in the song to say that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I love Sus One, man. My, my dog for life. Nah, I love, bro. I, like and I, I remember the first time Buster gave me Coco. Mm-hmm. Now, you know when mm-hmm. Buster Buster's one of my good friends Every time he talks to me He uses unnecessarily big dictionary words Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, crazy. He's, crazy. He's, crazy. He's, crazy. He's crazy He's crazy But He's as crazy. soon as I played the record The record hit hard And ever since then It's been hit after mm-hmm. hit yeah. After hit And now you got everybody mad yeah. So tell me the energy behind everybody mad You got haters out here You know that, that that is came It's a, it's a statement it, it, It's like it's, 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 pa- it's past due Sus You know what I'm saying That I address That I have a record And I address these issues Mm-hmm in the way that I did it, you know what I'm saying within within the um, within the pocket and delivery that I did it, like it was past due, you know what I'm saying. And so I put that record out because I felt I've been feeling some kind of way, you know what I mean. Well, has all anybody of, been hating on you, like maybe from your hometown? What? Or in the, he said, what? He said what? what? It happens all the time, you know what I'm saying. I don't let that shit really bother me, and but that's why I did it this way in a creative way. You know, because you don't want to do it in a whole nother way. Because if I do it like that, then I got to do something to somebody. I don't want to go do it. Yeah, I was about to ask you, have you ever slapped anybody you know recently? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Never. No, but. Has a slapping happened occasionally? No, but, but my, 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 but I, I haven't slapped anybody yet recently, but my hands are up to date. I nice. swear, I swear, <laughs> my son, my hands is up to date. Nice. And any nigga want to try me right there, no, any jack boy, any, anything, this goes to you personally. I will Great. beat your ass or we're going to shoot the shit out of you. And I'm saying this on serious XM. God damn. All right, well, right now let's play everybody <laughs> mad. Yeah. <laughs> that brand new OT Genesis Heat. If yeah. you don't like this song, you're going to get slapped. Play yeah. Right. It's the yeah. feature presentation, DJ Sus1. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's DJ Sus1, the feature presentation. My girl, Ali V, co-hosting. Yes. My nigga, Mr. Slap, 
a fucking haters here. OT That's Genesis, right. my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my nigga, a million, like, selling over a million units on each single. You big, you pause. You big out here, bro. Over a million. Don't say that. Million, over a million. Two million. million yeah, yeah, shit, like, shit like that. Just the numbers don't. Yeah, but, but yeah. What's the next goal for OT right now, bro? Um, You know, put out an album. You know, um, make sure that, uh, make sure that I grab, you know, grab my, 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 uh, my core fan base and know who they actually are and just know how to, you know, put put everything together, man. I'm just I'm still learning, man. At the end of the day, it's still early for me, you know. Now, being from the West Coast, I just wanted to ask this because it was an interesting cover. You know, the classic Ice Cube cover, Snoop Dogg just redid it. Mm-hmm. Um, what what's the name of the album? Make Make America Crip Again, right? Mm-hmm. Make America Crip Again. How'd you and you know fuck? We was on there. I was on the album. I was on the album. Yeah. How do you feel about that cover? That shit I hard think it's as fucking fuck. Incredible. I think it's perfect. That's what I think. Make America Crip again. Let's go, guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, keep it real. I asked this to somebody. I already know OT's answer is going to be, but I just got to ask it for the entertainment of the interview. If you got paid, because, you know, Chrisette Michelle got a lot of backlash for performing mm-hmm. at the inauguration of Donald Trump. Um, if you got paid $5 million. To Stop, man. Don't do that. 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 Would you slap the promoter or would you slap Trump? Which one? I would oh, slap the shit out of Trump. I swear to God, I would. Really? Yeah. And a promoter. I mean, you said you wouldn't perform at the Super Bowl. You did mention that in another interview that you wouldn't perform. Yeah. You felt like it wasn't but the listen, right moment. No, no, listen, listen. I'm going to tell you why I wouldn't perform. Okay. I know everything that's going on right now, right? And I'm very hip and I'm very, very aware. I'm a nigga that's very aware. You know what I'm saying? And I see all the stupid shit and the dumb shit that this nigga is doing. And so I wouldn't perform for that fact. You know what I mean? But this bag talk is crazy, but I still wouldn't do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just for my people, period. You know what I'm saying? Just for my people. That's the only reason why I wouldn't. I want to know, and we're going to take it left real quick. It's just a hip-hop question. I want to know who OT Genesis' top five West Coast MCs of all time is. We, everybody always says the top five MCs. I want to know the top five West Coast MCs for OT Genesis. Top five West Coast like MCs? OT, OT. Don't do the die line shit to OT, me. OT, OT, OT. <laughs> die line, die line, die line, die line, die line, die line. <laughs> now, um, I would definitely, you know, uh, Snoop. Snoop is definitely number one. You nice. know what I'm saying? He from my city. It's a nigga who I've been looking up to all my life. You know what I mean? Like, all my life. So, you know, Snoop. Is one, Cube is another, Dub C is another, mm. Corrupt is another. Mm. Damn, that's fucked up because you got one more, but then I got so many people to say, you know what I'm saying? You, I'm an East Coast because, nigga, so maybe I'm wild because you got like you, you know you got you got you got DJ Quick and mm. then you got Daz and then you got E40, then you got mm. Too Short, like you know what I'm saying? So it's 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 so many people, man. I don't just want to keep it. I don't want to keep it to five because all these people, you know, you know what I'm saying. I've I've looked I've looked looked up to, and I still look up to now. Like, you know, and that's why I I let it be known. Like, I'm not no nigga who just full of myself, and I'm not bigging up nobody. Like, all these people I look up to. Can we get? And this just me talking as a fan. Can we ever get like a a brand new West Coast collaboration? You know, with all the OGs to the new, the new G, the you new know, talent. You know what? I'm I'm gonna be Album. the first. I'm the first. One, I'm gonna be the first one to do it. But I'm gonna do it in a dope ass way because I'm pr- I'm probably not so shade to nobody, but I'm probably the only nigga musically that can make that happen in the right way, in the right form, where it sounds good and great, to where it don't sound like no bullshit. You just putting it out. You know what I mean? Just not putting a whole grip of niggas on the song. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm probably the nigga that could just really like. Get everything, format everything the right way. Take his vocals, here, here. Take this out of this, da da da. Piece it up together and make this shit the right way. I'm probably the only nigga that can do that. I know for sure I'm the only nigga that do that. I'm looking Keep forward to that if you really do that. You know what I'm right, let's take a break real quick. Ot Genesis is in the building. Let's play the song that started the whole shit. The song that DJ <laughs> Sussman played in New York first. All right, let's play Coco real quick. It's Hip Hop Nation. Yo, what up? It's DJ Sus One, Young Spielberg, the feature presentation, the greatest DJ of all time. I don't know if that sounds too cocky. <laughs> Yo, Ali V is here. What's going on? My nigga OT Genesis is in the building. What up, yeah, boy? Yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you, because you had a hit, major hit single, Coco, and I always get really scared when an artist has such a huge single 
almost like it's bigger than them. I'm always afraid, can they put out another one? Can they put out another one? What were some of your difficulties with, you know, producing another track after that as a follow-up? It wasn't no difficulties. It was just hearing the shit from everybody. Like, yo, you know you got to make a, I, 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 you know you got to make a song that's bigger than that one, right? You know you got to, what's up next? Uh, you, you, Yo, hey, yo, you know what, what happens after this? Is just, you got to put it out right now and you got to, everybody was telling me all kind of shit like that. Mm -hmm. While I was going to Dubai, going to London, going to Spain, going to Australia, doing all this all this other shit. They telling me while I'm doing all of this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people tell me this shit while I'm grabbing the you're, bags. You're saying it's not difficult, which is some swagged out shit to say. Right, right. Yeah. had hit after hit. Yeah, but yeah. there's some artists struggling. Like, no disrespect to them. I'm cool with some of these people. But Young and May hasn't had a se second record yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know but saying? Young and... going to have to get a second Well, look, record. listen, let me say something. Young and May... And she's Come higher. No, let mm -hmm. me tell you something. Young and May knows how to spit. Young and May has a a dope and incredible skill set. Young and May. Come holler at me. Not on no bullshit. I'm not saying it on no bullshit. No weird shit. Come holler at me because I because I know, and I I know, motherfuckers don't know. They just saying they talking. They doing all this weird. Shit. I know all that shit that's in Young and May right now. I swear to God. Young and May give with me right now. I swear, I promise you it's a rap. That's on my son. I, I promise you it's a rap. That connection. I, pr I that's on my son. I, I put that on my son. I'm t listen, I'm putting it on my child. You get what I'm saying? It's a rap. I've saw the skill set. I know Young and May has bars. I know how I know how she rap. I know how to I know the pockets. I know in which way she flows. I get it. I understand it. It just have to be somebody there who understands that. And it's nobody who actually understands that. They just look at it like, yo, you know what? You're a female. You da 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 da. da you hard. That's what it is. It don't go like that, my nigga. It don't go like that. Let yet yeah, yeah, let younger mate sit with me for a week or two weeks. Sit really? with me for a week or two weeks, and I guarantee you, on my child, my nigga, it's a wrap. All right, I'm gonna have to make that connection. You get what I'm saying? Really? So it's like, at the end of the day, people have it. It just got to be people. You just gotta have the right people around you. To know what the fuck is going on. Because everybody want to ride the wave. Everybody wants to fucking ride the wave. You sitting there. One person telling you something. Another person telling you this. Another person telling you that. Another person. This shit is easy for me. Because I understand. It's not because I want to be cocky and humble. I mean cocky and talk crazy. It's because I understand. I know what it is. I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? I I have the sauce. I have what it is. <laughs> I love Whatever you, you know what I'm saying? I I got yeah. it. I Ali, got do it. Favorite, brush your shoulders off oh, immediately. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now, OT, you know what I don't know why I don't know this story. Just to go left. If you just tune in, OT Genesis is in the building. Yeah. I'm friends with Busta. Me and you has been cool for a while now. Um, how the fuck did y'all link, bro? I never even heard the story. How did no. How did you get to sign to an East Coast brother? Brother. What happened is, you know, before that I was signing Fifty. Before that, mm -hmm. yeah. Another East before. Coast. Yeah, another East Coast nigga, right? Yeah. And it's so crazy because all the East Coast cats like French Montana be mad at niggas in New York because he said he had to leave New York to get popping. But right. you actually came to, to New York niggas right. and start popping. It's crazy because, but see, this is how it happened though. Like, um, I was at this club in LA or whatever. We was turned up like BT weekend. Excuse me. So we was turned up BT weekend. I had a song called Touchdown, you know? At the moment, and everybody, everybody in the streets knew what it was. Like you know, what I'm saying, I it barely even played on the radio or anything. It had some radio play, whatever. But everybody in the streets heard, knew what that fucking song was, and what happened when that song came on. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I performed the song like five times, like five times in a, like back to back, mm. bringing it back, bringing it back. Bringing it back. I remember bringing it back. before Coco Buster did give me touchdown. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And so I, you know, I did that, and then he was like, he put me. I was like, little nigga, who you signed to? I'm like, man, I ain't signed nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking nigga crazy. Like, <laughs> fuck, like nigga I ain't signing nobody. And like, yo, let's just chop it up or whatever. Well, I was like, cool, cool. So probably like two days later, nigga, I pull up to the studio. I'm like, yeah, what's up? We had to play some songs for him, chill. We just chilling, drinking, having a good time. You know, and he was like, yo. You know, if it's one thing I know how to do, I know how to get some money. And that's all the nigga had to tell me. You know what I'm saying? So did you have any other options at the time? At the time? No, nah, it was just... At the, let me tell you something, sus. I swear, I promise you, on the Bible, I've always had this thing, and that's why I tell artists now, to this day. Like, if you believe in yourself... I know if you believe in yourself, but if you believe in yourself, really believe in yourself. Because at the end of the day, 
I knew I was gonna go. Nice. On I I promise you, I'm, this is not gassing myself on on nothing or just Allie, knowing my skill set. Oh you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Look, and this is not no, this is not nothing. I just knew I was gonna go. I was different, you know, than everybody. I would do I would do I would do a a, a, a little little concerts, little showcases, and in, in which is people around the area, and this this this, and I was just like. I just stood out to everybody, you know, and I just knew. I just didn't know. I didn't know when. That was my problem. So if I didn't, if if I didn't do anything with busted, I was still gonna go. Nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was I, still gonna go. This is nice. No matter no matter what, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was still gonna go. I just didn't know when and how. You know what I mean? I do all my shit. Nobody look around. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody does anything for me. You know what I mean? In the studio, that's me. Anything that you hear, that's me. When you hear that, that's me. Know that. You know what I mean? So I have I'm I'm musically inclined. I was just talking to Future about the same shit. You know what I mean? Backstage. I'm like, it's certain niggas that don't, you know, who get it and certain niggas that's just doing records. And then you have certain niggas that's musically inclined who know certain shit. Hold on one second. We're gonna have to cut this because I I, I wanna ask something else. Okay. So now I'm going to move forward to, because I just never heard the story. I'm just trying to get people who, because everybody knows you for the hit records, the right. swag, you know, right. all that other shit. Right. What happened with the situation with you and 50? Why uh, did that with not me work and out? 50, with me and 50, it just didn't, it, it just didn't work out. And I only, and when I did a, uh, a deal with 5th, I only did a single deal. You oh, know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. So it didn't, it didn't really work out like that. And then around the time that happened, he had the head, the, the, um, not the head. Did he have the headphones? Yeah, he had the SK headphones and the energy drinks and all that kind of shit going on. So it's just like no, but it's always love with me and Fifth, and that's why I say that. And and I'm not like no nigga. I don't be looking at niggas. But like, y'all was signed there before, but fuck them niggas and did, did. I don't yeah. do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Would you so work and, with him in so, a different capacity? Yeah, though? hell yeah. Me mm -hmm. and Fifth is still cool. Me and Yayo still cool. Me and Banks still cool. Me and Kid Kid still cool. Like you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm a man. I didn't come in this shit to have beef for no nigga because I could do that shit on the street. I came here to get Sometimes money. Sometimes you can't avoid it, though. You know, Some of these niggas, it's not yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, but at the end of the day, I'd rather not entertain it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd rather not entertain it. When you entertain it, that's when you start. Right? So when you fall into a nigga trap, don't entertain it. You came here to get money. If somebody let me tell you, Let me tell you what Ja Rule right. fucked up. Okay, let me hear this. Let me tell you what Ja Rule fucked up. Tell me. When he <laughs> entertained Fifth. If he would have just stayed doing what the fuck he was doing, Nigga would have been gone. Out okay, of here. But hold on, real quick. That was a different era. But in this era, the social media era, motherfuckers be going. Instagram Still, is don't piece. entertain mm -hmm. it. Don't entertain it. When you don't entertain, trust, let me tell you something. Let me say, this is what I started. This is what I told her the other day. I said, listen, a motherfucker say something to me. You know what I do? What's that? I block them. You know, after I do, I block them, trash they comment, and I block them. But what if you see you all never the memes see on Instagram, everybody going in on you, entertaining the whole thing? Listen, but you can't. But you can't. Do that. That's what I'm saying. You falling into the trap. This is what they want you I to agree do. With you, I just mm -hmm. want. Yeah, yeah. You take know what I'm saying. Mature mind. Yeah, to do right, what right, saying. right, right. Yeah. You just do. You just do what the fuck you need to do. You know what I'm saying. But when is Let enough? Say, is enough? Like when does someone cross the line? Let me say something. Yeah, you exactly. know what? You know what would be the best. You know. You know what would be the best thing for us right now. To come with the biggest record ever right now for mm. Jermaine Dupri to produce that record and him to come for that biggest R and B record right now. While everybody was talking all the crazy shit, we get it. Cool. I was quiet. Now drop, bam. He smack him right now. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's entertaining this shit, but he wasn't a dummy to entertain the bullshit and be like, yo, yo, la la la. It ain't about that. Yeah, I love that you're saying this because let's be clear, a lot of hip hop does not take this page that you're saying right now. A lot yeah. of niggas feed into the bullshit. Yeah, they feed into that. But we, at the end of the day, sus, they, they really, like, we came from nothing, my nigga. Yeah. We came from nothing. Let's keep it 100. Let's just keep it 100. If we didn't came, if, look, if we ain't come from nothing, we, we ain't have as much as we have now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, it's all about, man, staying positive. I did not come into this shit to be for the nigga or be going back and forth for nobody. I didn't come in here for that. All right. Well, OG Genesis is in the building. Um, everybody mad is yeah. out there. I'm sure it's going to be another over million um, streams <laughs> and selling situation. Can we play the um, Cut It record real quick? Let's get Cut It on real quick. All right, it's DJ Suss won the feature presentation. Yeah. Yo, what up? It's DJ Suss won the feature presentation. Ali B is here. Yes, sir. OT Genesis, my niggas in the building. Yeah. Yes. You know what? 
Now, OT, I'm going to say this live on the um, radio because this is our last break right now. Let's go. I'm working on my album. Can yeah. OT Genesis get on it? Hell Millions yes. of people are listening right yeah, now. It's easy. You know, all, you know, you know how easy that is, sir. All right. Do you know how easy that is? Can you speak a, a, you little, sure? loud, a little louder? Are you sure? Do you <laughs> know how easy Are you going to ignore that him? Is? Let me tell you something. Do you know what's in the stash right now? In <laughs> you want some Tupac shit? That's what I'm shit. saying. You got like a hundred records recorded. Come this. on, a hundred records, a hundred and two. Uh, right now, a hundred and two as of this this well last month. That nobody's heard. Well, I want to get to the studio and hear some of these shit so I can pick one. Thank you. <laughs> so listen, in closing, because it's the last break, what is the the the, the short term future. future goals for OT Genesis besides the album? Man, just become great, man, and and and, and be great as a as an artist and just as a man. You know, I find myself right now. I'm just everything is everywhere because there's a whole lot of shit going on in my life right now. You know what I mean? With people and family and people, you got to make sure they straight and this, 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 this. It's just so much shit going on, which is not different from, the you know, a few years ago. But just become great, man, and 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 learn and teach myself and do shit in this different way. I'm just trying to become, like, really great. I don't think, like... But focus on the music. Because yeah. there's movies, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, clothes, yeah. there's all types yeah, of... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But you have to be great. Like, me... I want to be great in this before I be great in that. Mm. That's my mm -hmm. thing. You know, I don't think I perfected this like to a T yet. And I think I, I think I've got, uh, trust me, I think I've got it more than maybe 96, 7%. You are, know? You, are you concerned? But, like when you say great, are you concerned with like being top five, top listen, 10? It's not that. It's just being, just be, me being great, undeniable. You know, undeniable to an ear. You get what I'm saying? I feel you. I don't want you to put, put, put uh, you play me and you play OT. Uh, you know when you like, you did, you had that song, you're like, oh, oh, that's it. Let's skip that. Let's play the. I don't want you to skip me. Even though it seems like it's probably impossible, I don't want you to skip me at all. Period. I want to thank you for coming to the, because this is your first time. We've known each other a while. This is first time coming yeah, on my show. Yeah, it's us. You know what I'm saying? Suss know that. Um, now, in closing, OT, who's the greatest DJ of all time? DJ Suss One. Who got more swag than you? DJ Suss One. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't love say it. that. Don't he say just that. said it real fast. <laughs> he <laughs> he didn't really got more yeah, swag yeah. Don't say that. He didn't got more swag than me. He just said it real fast. He got sauce. He got swag, though. You see, I'm gonna tell you how, Let me tell you how you know. Let me I'm tell you how nigga swag up. Because he thought of that. And when he saw me looking down and drinking, uh, drinking my liquor, he was like, how much more swag than DJ Suss One? I'm like, then I, look up, then I look at you. You have to look. See, this shit got to be. This shit, you got to actually have a camera for this show. Because you got to be <laughs> streaming gotta, this shit. Oh, you do? I was looking at like, this. I did this. That's why I was like, fucking idiot. <laughs> that's, my, that's, my take, that's my boy, though. That's my boy. That's my boy. my nigga. Let's take care of the business. Everybody mad. Number one record out right now. And that's everybody right. can relate to it if you've ever been hated on. It's everywhere. It's available everywhere. I'm sure it's going to be do extreme crazy numbers. Come on. We know that. We know what the numbers are gonna do, sus. We know what the numbers, <laughs> yeah, numbers are gonna do. Yeah. We just want to know what the haters gonna do this time. And if they do it again, I'm gonna slap them again. So listen, <laughs> again. Ron, I'm gonna let you know. DJ Sus One, I just want to let you know that it's something right now that I got in the bag. And if I gotta let it go in two weeks, I'm ah, ready. Boy. Because at the end of the day, I got something right now that'll run all these niggas away. Do not play with me. My name is Ot Genesis. I'm here with DJ Sus One. Do not play with me. Artists, don't play with me. I was very humble. I was very, very humble and I was on my best behavior. If you fucking play with me, this is going to happen to you. Don't play with me. I have platinum plaques back to back. I have a whole lot of money, a whole lot of cash. I'm rich as fuck and I'm fucking ignorant. Don't play with me. Turn up. DJ Sus One. Yeah. That was OT Genesis, <laughs> all right? Everybody mad out right now. Yes. DJ Sus One, the feature presentation. Ali B co-host. Yes, Hip Hop Nation. <laughs> Let's go.